Hey, I'm Hello Rodney. Thanks for clicking on my video. Well, oh, I was talking to my brother last night as I look for snakes. And uh, and he was, my brother has some thyroid issues as well. And it's kind of strange. I think it could be uh, environmental that he and I both have thyroid issues because nowhere in our family do we know of anybody with thyroid issues. Doesn't mean we there aren't, but we just don't know of any. But anyway, he started uh, talking about these issues, these different issues that people with thyroid uh, problems or lack of thyroid, thyroid issues have. And I clicked off maybe almost maybe 80% of everything he said, you know, all the way from, you know, well, I don't, I don't remember exactly what he was talking about. I don't want to say, I don't want to dog myself un, unjustifiably. But there were some issues there that, uh, that affected me. And so we were, we were talking about it, and one of the things that, that helps uh, this is vitamin B12. Or maybe one of them. I don't know. I don't know. You know, the thing about me is, 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 is I'm so freaking lame, you know. I just, oh, yeah, man. This is my dad used to say, Rodney, you are like a pig. You wake up in a new world every day. So I can't, I can't uh, say that's, I can't say that's not true. So I'm going to make, uh, I'm going to try to use uh, vitamin B12 more like a prescription to see if that has an effect on me. And I know I have to eat better, uh, but I think I'm one of those people that needs more protein. So I, I, I'm probably going to have to start eating some beans and beans and uh, uh, rice or something to help, help with my protein because I don't want to eat a lot of meat protein. But I think meat protein actually makes me feel better. But still, by the same token, I, I, don't, I, just, I want to try to figure out some other way to do it. Oh. Anyway, my brother's off. And uh, we, had a nice, we had a nice visit that was good that he, that he came. And, uh, so that was good. I was glad that he, he came by and spent a couple of nights. Oh, man. So that was good. Only the lonely. Boy, there's a lot of freaking tumbleweeds. I mean, this is Tumbleweed City all of a sudden. And, and I don't remember there being this many tumbleweeds in the past. So, you know, I've had... Down, down there where there's a lot of tumbleweeds. I mean, I there, uh, while we were building the house, that whole area was filled with uh, those uh, brown-eyed Susans or black-eyed Susans, those plants that look like uh, uh, sunflowers. The whole area. I never didn't do a video of that. I don't know why I didn't. But and then now it's almost full of. Uh, last year it was full of uh, mustard. And this year, it's full of freaking uh, tumbleweeds. So, I don't know what it's going to be next year. Maybe roses. No. Oh, oh anyway, I just wanted to do a video. And, and oh, yeah, I, I, went to, uh, I went to Albuquerque today. <laughs> and I went to see a, a buddy of mine. And... and uh, he was home, and he was in the back uh, with a buddy of his, a buddy of ours. And they were back there smoking pot. So I took a couple of hits. And I kind of felt a little paranoid. Actually, not paranoid, but a little uncomfortable. It was uncomfortable for me. And so, you know. Oh. Uh, yeah, you're right.
run out and buy a bunch of pot or anything, but, you know, I took a couple of hits and I, and I thought, you know, this doesn't feel so good. And it didn't. It did not feel, it did not feel good. I did not feel uh, the way I wanted to feel. It, you know, it was just, it just wasn't good. And there was a guy there, came a little bit later, a buddy of ours that had been arrested for the charge was uh, assault and battery with grievous bodily harm or something, and they and it went all the way down from that to some sort of misdemeanor, and he got out with time served. He was in jail for four and a half months, and he liked being in jail. As a matter of fact, he said something to the effect that when the cops, when the cop uh, questioned him, it, had he said that he didn't do it, then you know they would have let him go. But because of personal circumstances, he went ahead and he said that he did it. So, I mean, it's almost like, and I didn't ask him, but it just seems by that statement that he kind of wanted to go to jail. And he actually was in jail, and he was, you know, saying it wasn't that bad. He's talking about what a great view he had of the TV and how, how he met some buddies in there and how he played cards and uh, drank a bunch of coffee and did all this. And it was like he, he didn't mind being in jail. Well, that's what I got out of it, but, you know, so the guy has got some mental issues. You know, he's living on the street, and he came out, and he looked pretty good because he'd been in jail for four and a half months, and he was eating right, sleeping. And uh, so I have a feeling that, uh, I hope he doesn't go back down, but it's not going to be good if he does. And he was talking about his experience smoking spice. And he said and he said he's done acid and everything in the past, but he did this spice. And he said that he smoked it with this guy who was a spice addict, I guess. And that he thought that he was in outer space, on a spaceship. And he thought that he didn't recognize the guy that he was with. He didn't know if he was an enemy or a friend. And they started realizing, well, he's not doing anything, so maybe he's a friend. And then it went from being a friend to being a, 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 a crewman on a spaceship. I mean, this is, you know, I mean, this stuff is really got to be some heavy duty chemicals in your brain. Scrambling your freaking brain is what it's doing. And they, uh, they outlawed it in, in uh, Albuquerque. So that's a good thing. Because if you, can, if you can go into a place and buy something, go outside and smoke it and think you're in outer space and not know where you are and not know who, you're, who you are and not know who the person is that you're with that, that you've known for, you know, however long, you know, this stuff deserves to be, you know, thrown out for sure. But, uh, I don't know. Anyway. Anyway. I wish there was something I could say that would be funny. Oh, there's two guys in hell. And this one guy says... Wednesday? Huh. I thought it was Thursday. I'm Hello Rodney. Thanks for watching and bye bye. Look how nice some of these colors are. Okay, that's it. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.